At certain points in your life over the course of your career, but I want to say in your life and your career, you have to be real with yourself. One semester into film school, I think I changed my own life by just being real with myself. I was a terrible, terrible film student. Terrible because I didn't have the tools uh, to know how to utilize my voice uh, in the realm of filmmaking. So I went to the dean. I said, Dean, I love being here. I really wanted to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me to, into this program. I need to leave. I went to the dean and said to him, I do not want to continue in film school right now. I said to him, I don't want to continue right now because I do not have the skills that my classmates have. Will you please give me a year to leave this program, bring myself up to speed, and I will come back and I promise you I will not waste this slot. And he said yes. Dean Frank Patterson said yes. And so I literally took a year off film school. I had started a creative writing degree, and I thought, oh, I'll just go, and somehow I'll become this six-year undergrad student by finishing my creative writing degree while doing what I described an independent study. Some of you have probably heard this story before. I took a still photography class. I went to Blockbuster Video and went to the foreign film section, and I watched every single foreign film that was on the shelf. There was a science library on campus called the Dirac Science Library. It changed my life. Because in the top floors, we had all these things about chemicals and cells and biology. And in the basement, in the basement, for Lord knows what reason, you had this treasure trove of art books. You had Masters of Light. You had Thoughts of the Cinematographer, just all these things. So for a year, I buried myself. And I buried myself because I had a question in my head that I didn't want anyone to ask me before I answered it for myself. And that question was, is this guy not good enough for this program because he's black and he's poor, he grew up with a mom addicted to drugs, or does he just not know you need light to expose film? And so I took that year off, and I said, you know what? I'm going to learn how to expose film better than anybody else in this program. You know? And I'm going to read and listen to as many DVD commentaries as possible. I'm going to find the most obscure uh, film journal that's written in English, which was sight and sound, because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, translate Kahu to cinema for myself. And I'm going to read as much film criticism as I possibly can. I'm going to open the field of my experience uh, as wide as possible, and then I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show every damn body. Now, 